I know that software can really make so much of this so much more efficient and better and, and all kinds of things. But isn't part of, let's say hiring, for example, isn't part of that just kind of, you know, you have to judge people for the softer side of things, the EQ. Uh, isn't some of hiring just kind of like a gut feeling? Some of it, but not all of, not it. All of it. And so I don't believe that the machine replaces the hiring decision, but it can absolutely help you decide who should be brought in to interview. And there are a lot of positions where the people that are coming in to interview depends on when the recruiter read that resume. It was it right before they went to lunch mm -hmm. and they were hungry and so they just threw it in the trash or right after they came back from lunch where they had more time? These things are not necessarily objective. It's subjective based on time. Are they having a bad day or a good day? And so using systems and big data to help analyze who are the people we should be spending time with? Who are the people internally that maybe deserve a promotion or that are up for promotion? And what is the right career path for those people? Or what about people that maybe need to go? It's not working out. Can software tell me that before my gut might spot it? Oh, a great example of that is to identify a problematic manager, right? A problematic manager has a wider scope of damage than an individual who's not doing well mm -hmm. because they're not only risking one person's performance, they risk an entire team. A toxic manager could cause an exodus of a large number of employees.